Evening, Sheriff. You're Martin, if you ask me. Yeah, I guess you're right. Say, I'm looking for a friend of mine, name of Smiley Burnett. Is he in town? Yeah, that's him playing the piano over at the palace. Every stable still open? Never closes, just like the saloon. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> right down the street, friend. You can't miss it. Thanks, Sheriff. like the song so much, we'll take up a little collection. Oh, shucks, I like to sing. You don't have to give me no money. You're giving, fat boy, not kidding. This is a stick-up. Come on, line up against the bar. Hurry it up. Let's go. Your hands out and your head's down. Clean them out, Al. Empty your cash box on the bar. I'll handle this alone. We'll cover you from outside. You was the Durango kid. Forget it, Smiley. What's this shooting about? I don't know, Sheriff. This man took a shot at me and I finished it. Let's have your gun till this is straightened out. Dead as a doornail. Anybody recognize him? No. Uh-uh. Yeah, I guess there's no law against a man defending himself. Just for the record, what's your name? Carson, Steve Carson. He used to be a captain of the Texas Rangers till they disbanded. 
You remember him, Steve Carson. Sure, heard quite a bit about you. Say, Sheriff, I don't usually mix into things that don't concern me, but I... Who are you? Where are you from? My name's Hawk Edwards from Santa Fe. But what I wanted to say is that Durango here didn't do no shooting. At least not out here. There was a ruckus inside. When Durango ran out, he threw something to Edwards here. He yelled at me to give this back to the people it belonged to. And he was killed by Carson. There was a robbery in the saloon. Two robberies. That feller stuck up the two fellers that was sticking us up. It was them two. Hey, them fellers is gone. Durango do any shooting in the saloon? Oh, that ain't the... How do I know? The lights was out. Why don't you look at his gun, Sheriff? Not a shot fired. I'm gonna have to lock you up, Carson, for the murder of the Durango kid. Oh, they can't do that to you, Steve. All you got to do is just to tell them that you're the... You two fellows will have to stay in town until the trial. Take care of him. Come on. sure a waste of time talking to that judge. He's dead set against all us Texas Rangers. He says we ain't got no more authority than the frogs got hair. Well, I guess he wanted to make an example of me so other Rangers wouldn't think they were still peace officers. Yeah, he's all for the state police. Hey, you know what? After the trial, I overheard that Edwards saying that he knew the fellow that you killed, and he's fixing to get a payoff from somebody down in Santa Fe for pinning the whole thing on you. Somebody in Santa Fe? Wonder who it could be. Well, you tell that judge you're a Durango and you can get out of here and find out. Telling and proving are two different things, Smiley. He's so set against the Rangers, wouldn't do any good anyway. Well, it might save your skin. Mm. You planning on staying in here and getting hung? I'm counting on you getting me out of here. Me? You. Thank you. 
you're not looking at the ghost, Sheriff. Another Durango. Right. The real one this time. Throw your gun into the street. Left hand. The law makes mistakes like the rest of us, Sheriff. That's why Carson's been turned loose. If there was no mistake made where he was concerned, he killed a man. If it was proved that that man committed a crime, it'd make a difference, wouldn't it? Maybe. But it can't be done. I think it can. Anyway, the answer's in Santa Fe. One of these days, you'll hear from Steve Carson. about your good work out in Texas. It was tough losing Jordan. We could have pulled that fake Durango trick more than once. Yeah, but making Steve Carson pay for his killing sort of evens things up. As soon as we heard his name, me and Joe figured he was the man that run you out of Texas. So we laid it on heavy to the sheriff. Your heads. I won't forget it. Here, have a cigar. With the Rangers out and the state police taking over, you boys didn't find it too tough to discourage the Texas cattle owners, did you? No, uh, it was easy. Their only hope now is to bring their cattle in our way. Just what they're doing. The Kelly outfit's already hit the trail for Santa Fe. They're expected in a couple of days. At least that's what Kelly thinks. But my boys are waiting for him, and when they get through roughing him up a bit, he'll be willing to sell his brand as well as his stock at my price. Where do we come in? You work on a second herd. A big bunch of mixed brand cattle is being rounded up to hit the trail. A mixed brand herd, huh? Say, if we owned some of those brands, we'd be about ready to come out in the open with one of the biggest cattle raising outfits in the country. That's about the general idea. It wouldn't be a brand in existence we couldn't fake. I think I ought to tell you, Buck, the boss of that mixed brand herd is a tough customer who's plenty smart and might still cause us a lot of trouble. What's his name? Slim Williams. I know who he is. Don't worry about him. It's the kind of talk I like to hear. You like cigars, boys? All right. You want to help yourself. Hey, look, an empty horse. Empty horse? No rider. I wonder if that shot we heard meant somebody was ambushed. Come on. He's finished whoever he is. Get on your feet, both of you. Making sure you kill Slim Williams is gonna cost the both of you your necks. Now, just a minute, ma'am. I'm afraid you're jumping to conclusions. Turn around. Don't think I won't shoot if you make one false move. Move over to one side. I'll make a fair deal with you, ma'am. After all, your hand's too small to handle three guns. Honest, ma'am, we wouldn't even shoot a fly. I may have been jumping to conclusions. You're not making any mistake, honest, ma'am. Maybe not, but I'd like to know something about you. Well, his name is Steve Carson, and my name is Smiler Burnett. Just a couple of ex-Texas Rangers. He's telling the truth, ma'am. You see, things haven't panned out too well for us in Texas. So we're drifting through to Santa Fe. We've got a mixed herd about ready to take the trail to Santa Fe. We need men. You offering us a job? Yes. Thanks. Ever had any trouble like this before? Had nothing but trouble. Cattle rustled during the roundup. Men quit. Can hardly blame them when two of the fellows they were riding with were killed. You believe in laying your cards right on the table, don't you, Miss... Uh... Eaton. Tony Eaton. You've got yourself a couple of hired hands, Miss Eaton. I'll go back to ranch and have a wagon sent out for Slim. Oh, no need to do that. We'll pick him up. Steve? Yeah? I was just thinking, you know, we'll get to Santa Fe a lot quicker without cattle than we would with them. You're right about that, Smiley. But we'll be a lot safer with that drive since we're wanted by the law here in Texas.
Williams was killed from ambush out on the South Range. That just proves what I've been saying all along. Any one of us might get it next. Take care of him, Tom. Uh, boys, this is Steve Cox and Smiley Burnett. They're gonna ride on the drive with you. We can sure use them. Your dad sent word down he wants to see you, Tony. Thanks. Come on up the house with me, Steve. Fine. All right. Might give him a little water. You know what's good for you? You'll get back on that nag and hightail it out of here. Well, you're kidding, aren't you? I heard you needed men here. We sure do. Don't pay any attention to Barton. Since we've been putting this herd together, two men have been killed. And what about the Kelly herd that's just ahead of us? They've lost three men. And I don't know how many more get it trying to bring cattle into Santa Fe. But I do know I'm not going to be one of them. Well, now, look, mister, if you don't like it around here, why don't you just pack up your duds and get? That's just what I'm going to do. Any of you men coming with me? Not me. Not me. I'm particular about the company I keep. I'd rather stay here with the cows. Is there something about me that you don't like? Well, now that you mention it, it might be your face. It don't look too good from the front. Nope, it don't look any better from the side. If I had a face like that, I'd nail a board over it. I'm over here. You can nothing, do you? I never knew you could fight like that. I ain't never been that mad before. <laughs> Barton pulled his usual stunt, Mr. Eaton, but this time he didn't get away with it. Well, he's been a troublemaker for a long time. Well, I'm glad he's gone, even if we are shorthanded. Losing Barton ain't worrying me none, but losing Slim Williams is. Steve Carson will be in charge of you now. Dad and Steve's father are old friends. You can depend on him. Take my word for it. Suits me. What time do we pull out? Tomorrow. Sun up. Press along with a cowboy yell. Press along with the noise, big noise. Press along to the big corral. This sun reaped roots from the cattle shoot. Press along to the big corral. He's shrieking, landed on the snoot. Press along to the big corral. Press along, cowboy. Press along with a cowboy yell. Press along with the noise, big noise. Press along to the big corral. We're riding herd on the trail all day. Looking forward to the meeting at that head. 
heavenly ranch up in the sky. And we hope the big boss man will greet us in his own corral someday on high. We're gonna ride. Yes, we'll ride. We're gonna ride. Yes, we'll ride. We're gonna ride on the golden range in the sky. There's a roundup at the set of sun when all our work down here is done. We'll ride on the golden range by and by. We're gonna ride. Yeah. Hey, Smiley, I ain't seen Steve Carson all day. I ain't either. Think he had an accident? Maybe we ought to send some men out looking for him. Well, I hadn't intended to say nothing about it, but maybe I better. He ain't run out on us, has he? Steve never run out on anybody. Well, then where is he? You remember yesterday when Kelly's rider come through here and said they'd lost the herd right outside of Santa Fe? Yeah. Well, Steve figured he better take off and investigate it. On his own? Yep. He left just before we made camp last night. Go to bed. I'm sorry I couldn't pay more for what's left of your herd, Kelly, but I did the best I could. Five thousand dollars for thirty thousand dollars worth of cattle. That ain't much. Better than nothing. I'm taking a chance of ever rounding up enough of that herd to break even. Yeah, I know. But it's a tough break for me. stampeded, I had to make the best deal I could. But I never figured they'd try and take their money back. There's no doubt about it, the Santa Fe Cattle Company is crooked. None at all. You know a bunch of their riders pulled out of here this afternoon? So? That means trouble for some cattle outfit heading this way. The only one I saw was the Texas Mixed Brand. I'll bet their owners will be in Santa Fe in a few days, taking whatever they can get for what's left of their herd. Before that happens, they've got to be warned. sides and the rear. I'll make sure the others are ready.
talk. Talk, talk fast, mister. I wasn't with those rustlers. I thought you was one. I'm Rad Dawson, and I work for Buck Prescott. He owns the Santa Fe Cattle Company. Did you say Buck Prescott? Yeah, I rode out to make you an offer for the herd. Save you the haul into Santa Fe. I reckon you came at the right time. Buck might still make you a deal for as many of your cattle as he can round up. Well, mister, I've heard a lot of things in my time, but of all... The... Of all the offers I've ever heard, I guess that's just about the best ones. Why, why, of course, we couldn't comb all them steers out of the hills all by ourselves. I guess it might not do any harm to listen to any proposition Prescott will make. Well, if it's all right with you, I'll go on ahead and tell him you'll be in. Yeah, sure, do that. Of all the dumb lying I ever heard. But say, I caught on quick, didn't I? I know he didn't have you fooled none, either. You did fine, Smiley. So Buck Prescott turned up in Santa Fe, huh? Yeah. And if you was to show up there, wouldn't he be surprised? After we check on things here, we'll surprise him. You keep your eyes open while we're here. Howdy, Prescott. Surprised to see me walking around? Yeah. Figured I was hanged nice and legal by now. Just goes to show you can't believe what's in the papers. Sit down. Now you know how I felt when I let you slip through my fingers back in Texas. What brings you to Santa Fe? Edwards and Poker Joe around? They work for me. They're both good men. So if you're carrying any grudges, forget them. You don't pay. Especially when you haven't got the Rangers to back you up. Time will tell about that. Now, what about these mixed brands? It's an outfit owned by a bunch of ranchers in Texas. You interested in them? I trailed Boston. Till they were scattered all over the country yesterday. Yeah, that was a tough break. My buyer Dawson told me about it. Have a cigar? No, thanks. He said you might make us an offer. You're running close to 2,000 head. Who we'll round them up, your crew or me? You. Hmm. How long will it take? How many do you think you'll find? Oh, probably take a month, and we'd be lucky to get three or four hundred. Will you pay, Prescott? Say, fifteen a head? The market price is forty. When I do get them rounded up, how do I know what happened to you won't happen to me? You'd be surprised, wouldn't you? So would I. Nothing surprises me. Maybe something will. When I find out why you stampeded 2,000 head of cattle just to buy up three or 400. Things aren't going to be easy for you around here, Steve. With the law after you on one hand and me on the other. Better think it over. Thanks. I have. Get this, Smiley. Look up the cattlemen in town that have been trimmed by Prescott. Start with Dan Kelly. Form a trail patrol and see that any cattle coming to Santa Fe get here. That clear? Uh, yeah. What are you going to be doing? Something I don't like doing. I better go back and tell Eaton he's lost his herd. expect you back this soon, Steve. We ran into trouble. What kind of trouble? The herd was stampeded. Being shorthanded, we didn't have a chance to stop them. Are you sure you tried? 
I don't understand, Tony. What do you mean by that? Exactly what I said. Did you try to stop the stampede? Everything possible was done. I found out too late others have run into the same thing. Well, it don't make me feel any better knowing we're not alone. You know how the ranchers counted on the money for those cattle? Of course I do. That's why I'm spending some time in Santa Fe. I'm not through. You mean you're not through spending the money you got for selling us out? Well, Tony, what do you say? This was nailed to the corral fence. I found it a little while ago. He's Steve Carson, all right. A ranger gone bad. Only you didn't have to use your gun this time. We just handed everything to you on a platter. I'll regret as long as I live I didn't shoot you when I had the opportunity. You still have it? Tony, somehow I, I believe you're wrong. How can I be? He's wanted for murder. So why did he risk capture by coming back here to tell us about the cattle? I don't know and I don't care. You got any idea who run the herd off? Yes, a cattle buyer by the name of Buck Prescott. Two of the men working for him are responsible for my being wanted in Texas. Well, with the law hot after you, it doesn't seem that you can do much good for us or yourself. Maybe not, but I'm sure gonna try, Mr. Eaton. If I succeed, there'll be a payoff for all the Russell cattle. I'll be clearing myself at the same time. Well, go to it, boy, and good luck. Thanks. This will be easy. Oh, say, Steve's idea of a patrol is a good one, huh? Yeah. With our men on all sides of the herd, there's not much chance of stampeding it. No, nope, that's right. Come on. Let's go. bunch of beef Prescott won't get, unless he wants to pay market price. Balling you out for letting Carson put it over on you is not going to solve anything. Give us time, we'll get him. Well, just to make sure we do, spread the word around that I'm matching the Texas offer of 5,000 for him, dead or alive. That makes 10,000 in all. I'll take you up on that offer, Prescott. Durango. That's right. Your being alive means the fella Carson killed in Texas was a fake. You know he was. So do these two. How do we know you're not a fake? What difference does it make? If I don't get Carson, it won't cost you anything. He's right. You got nothing to lose. Maybe not. $10,000 is a lot of money. I don't want anybody butting in, understand? All right, I'll call off my boys. You bring me proof Carson's dead and you'll get paid. Good. Now we can talk about what really brought me to Santa Fe. Those mixed brands. I've had my eye on them all the way across Texas. I know you were interested in them. We could have made a deal. Not too late. I'm afraid it is. Prescott, if I don't collect that money, I'm liable to throw in with Carson. Between the both of us, we can make it pretty tough for you. Pull that gun, and it'll be the last move you ever made. Now, uh, what do you say? I'm playing for big stakes. You'd be wise to come in with me instead of fighting me. Well, that can be arranged, too. First, we've got to settle about those brands. I've got money coming to me on them. All right, I'll cut you in. Well, come on, chill out. Well, being forced to pay market prices for beef cattle has run me out of ready cash. I... In that case, I guess I'd better have a little talk with Carson. Now, and... wait a minute. I've got money coming on tomorrow's stage. You'd better not be stalling, Prescott. I'm not. I'll take your word for it. Now, what about those big stakes you mentioned? That'll come later, after you take care of Carson. That suits me. Give me whatever you have for the 
Santa Fe Cattle Company. Oh, I'm sorry if I frightened you, miss. You didn't, but I thought Durango was killed in Texas by Steve Carson. <laughs> That's what a lot of people think. Well, too bad it isn't so. I hope I'm around the day they catch and hang you. Take the little lady into Santa Fe. I'm snack happy, snack happy. Oh, how I love that grub. I'm snack happy, snack happy. So I look like a tub. I'm snack happy, snack happy. Yet I feel fine. Ten meals a day keep the blues away. I have a snack happy time, a snack happy time. It ain't the three square meals I'm a getting. It ain't the exercise he don't get. That's a keepin' his waistline a bulging. I wish the buttons and the buttonholes met. It's the snacks he gets between meals. He gets them early down, then and late. I once made me up a diet, but when I went to try it, all I did was put on weight for I am snack happy, snack happy. Oh, how I love that grub. I'm snack happy, snack happy. So I look like a tub. I'm snack happy, snack happy. Yet I feel fine. Ten meals a day keeps the blues away. I have a snack, happy time. I love my fiddle. Snack, happy time. Hey, here comes Steve. Hi, Steve. Hey, are, Kelly. Put that in a safe place. What is it? It's the money Buck Prescott figured to put up matching the reward for Steve Carson. Well, how? Where did you yeah, get it? That's a long story. The point is, who here wants to collect it? Nobody around here ever heard of Steve Carson, did we, fellas? No, sir, never did. <laughs> Things are moving too fast for me. You mean they're moving too fast for Prescott? Oh, uh, Tony Eaton's in Santa Fe. I'm going to find her, get her out of town before she gets into trouble. Two guns lined on you. Well, where'd you pick him up? Down the street. Any sign of Durango in town? Nope. Boys, where are your manners? A chair for Mr. Carson. You didn't seem surprised when I asked about Durango. I know he's around. Been talking to him? Maybe. After agreeing to take a split from me, he played me for a sucker. Maybe Durango knew you were playing a sucker's game, Prescott. But it won't do you any good. Take his gun. Get him!
lost him. Yeah. Where's Poker Joe? Let's go back and find out. Boys, figure we'll get some information out of it. I don't like this, Edwards. I don't either. You better stay here. I'll get back to Prescott and find out what he wants us to do. Right. Oh, what's the use of my telling you what I think about you? What we gotta worry about now is Poker Joe. Supposing he gets scared enough to spill the beans about us giving false testimony at Steve's trial. It'll be worse than that. If Joe talks, he'll kill our whole setup. Confession from him will put us all behind bars. Why don't I round up the men? There can't be too many of them guarding that rain shack. We can hit them and have Joe out of there before they know what happened. That's just what they'd like us to do. Come out in the open. No, we gotta keep Joe from talking, but we gotta be smart about it. I think I know how to handle it. Joe will take care of the problem himself. They still got Joe in the shack? Yeah. Steve Carson just rode off. Outside of that, nothing else has happened. You wait here. It's your last chance, Joe. You better start talking. Everything's set down there. If you wasn't any too soon, Durango just rode in. all right. No, he'll live. Oh, there's the reason you didn't get yourself killed. Black. All of them. You're lying. See for yourself. 
Somebody wanted to get rid of you, Poker Joe. Yeah, they figured if you used this gun, you'd get yourself killed. Prescott and Edwards framed me. But you can stop them. The cattle we wrestled are out in Lost Valley. What about the steers Prescott paid cash for? They're there, too. He wanted them so he'd own the brand. And that way he could fake any brand on the whole range, huh? Yeah, we'd have had the biggest spread in the country. Well, I'll be back and talk to you later. Did I hear a shot down here? Right. Poker Joe's wounded. Nothing serious, though. Round up the patrol and head for Lost Valley. Smiley's inside. He'll tell you about it. It seems as though you're the only cattle buyer left in Santa Fe. Well, when the rustling got really bad, the others pulled out, Miss Eaton. Is there any chance of rounding up the mixed brands? That's hard to say. When I made Steve Carson the proposition I did, things were different. Well, he didn't say anything about that to Dad and me at the ranch. What was it? I offered the market price, $40 a head, for all the mixed brands we could round up. That still goes. Well, if you'll draw up a contract, I'll sign it. I'd be glad to. Oh, come in, man. Miss Eaton, this is Mr. Edwards and Mr. Dawson. Howdy, ma'am. It's a pleasure, ma'am. Miss Eaton is selling us whatever mixed brands we can round up. Oh, fine. Glad to hear it. I got some business to tend to, Buck. Edwards will tell you how that deal went off. Oh, uh, just like we figured. <laughs> chance to make certain you hang came sooner than I expected. These men are responsible for the rustling around Santa Fe. Take another step and I'll shoot. Steve Carson will be here in a few minutes. Believe what he tells you because he'll be telling the truth. If you're the wise little lady I think you are, you'll keep these two men covered until he gets here. Now look, doing this my way will help us to settle down and stop all this traipsing around the country getting into trouble. You'll never be happy in one place. How do I know? I never get a chance to try. What's going on here? Look out now, don't reach for your gun. Oh no, Smiley, I won't. You just better not. You see, Smiley's had a brainstorm. Brainstorm nothing. The state of Texas has offered $5,000 for him. I'm fixing to turn him in. You're turning him in? Yep. Yeah, he figures to hand me over to the sheriff at Twin Oaks, collect the reward, and then give him the confession signed by Edwards and Polka Joe. Pretty smart, ain't I? Oh, run for you! We're being attacked! We've changed our minds about leaving Texas, Steve. I'm sure glad to hear that, Tony. Well, we've decided to form a cooperative cattle raising company. It'll be the biggest in the world. Hey, that's great. 